Okay, so today we're going to go over how to download, install, and a little bit of using JBaki. And so JBaki is a program that it's basically a concurrency simulator. It operates on C++, which is a lot like C++ and a little bit like C, but you probably have to use this for a college class. So anyway, navigate to the first link that I have below, and then you're going to want to go to the bottom there and download the very bottom link right here. And so you're going to download it, and then go ahead and open it up. And once you have it open, you're going to have to extract it. So just simply just extract it to wherever you want it to be. And as soon as it's done, I'm going to show you how to open it, but you're also going to have to have uh, some sort of Java installed on your computer. Most of you already do, but if you don't, go to the bottom link that I have. It'll be this page right here. Okay, so now that I have it here, basically you're going to get yourself to the folder and for your files you're probably going to want to save them in this examples folder but I don't have to do that. Some people have said that it only works if they save their files in here as far as compiling it goes. Okay, so you're simply going to double click on JBaki here. If it doesn't have the, the picture of the coffee mug, that means you probably don't have Java installed. So you're going to have to download that first. So you just double click on that and it's going to open up like this. Okay, so I can start a simple program where I'll just do void main and that is the form that, the form that you use on this. And then just two regular close parentheses and your curly braces. And so this is the kind of format you're going to use on this, but you might notice, and I'll go ahead and save the file first, just to wherever, I'll just call it test file, okay? And you're going to notice that this will not work when I try to push compile. It just stubbornly doesn't do anything. So what I actually have to do is I have to save it as test.cm. You have to have that .cm file extension. And now you'll see this little line up here and when I go to compile it, it says this. And then you would go to run and you hit run a second time and then you push go. And of course nothing's going to happen here because I haven't written any code. But that's how you can test your program once you've written it. Alrighty guys, I hope this helped and I hope you have a good night.